Uh, but yeah, so one thing I wanted to get into, because obviously the main talking point is we are our own worst enemy, but as I always do, as you know already, man likes to talk about other things and that before I get into the main talking point. Um, so I released a video, I think it came out like yesterday or the day before, and it called Everyone Wants to Be a Boss. And I was going to change the title of the video, but I thought, let me just leave it. So nowadays, and this has been going on for years, isn't it? Yeah, everyone wants to be a boss. But is it everyone wants to be a boss because men are truly entrepreneurs? And that? Does everyone want to be an entrepreneur because they, are, they truly have a desire to run their own thing and they don't want to, you know what I'm saying, they'd be controlled by an ex-man? Or is it that men them are really lazy and they're confusing that with being their own boss? See, there's certain men out here, they don't want to work. They don't want to get a, a skill or a trade. Not because there's some entrepreneur that can sell water to a flipping uh, dolphin and that. No, there's some man, there's a lot of men out here that want to be a boss, want to be an entrepreneur because they're lazy, fam. They don't want to put in no work. Yeah? Like I was saying in that video, if you've seen it, if you haven't, uh, the guy that's a window cleaner and that. This is not a man who... Um, is an entrepreneur or something like that. No, this is a guy that fucked about on the streets, could not be bothered to get any sort of skill and that. So he's thought to himself, you know, what can I do that requires no skill, but I can get a band and start working today? Put a couple flyers out, make a couple people talk. Bam, I'm a window cleaner. I'm a carpet cleaner. I'm a mobile, what do they call it? Mobile car wash engineer or something like that. Laziness. That's the reason why a lot of men want to be an entrepreneur, you know, or they claim to be an entrepreneur and that. They can't be bothered to get a skill because getting a skill takes four years. Certain men, they don't want to do that. So they rather just buy a van for a couple grand and start cleaning people's windows and that. Yeah, make two, three hundred, four hundred pound a day. Nah, fam. It's laziness. It's laziness. Don't get too silly. Like I said in the video, man's not knocking no one's hustle, but it's the mindset that comes behind it. Why are you a window cleaner? window cleaner because you're too lazy to get a skill or a trade you cannot be bothered to sit in the classroom bro. i've got a problem with that turn on the light so yeah man but yeah that 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 girl there it's just, it's just funny isn't it like I remember, my, like I said, I remember I got the girl's number, I was 17 and that. And yeah, I mean, this girl's talking about, yeah, I want to go West London to eat lobster and that. I'm like, huh? I'm from Edmonton. Yeah, I ain't going to West London. Who I look like, fam? I like, man, don't have money like that. Man, not even never been on a date at the age of 17 and that. I'm bold, you, but I'm about to talk about lobster. You. Like, them people in Chingford, they're just across the water from us, literally. They're across the other side of the River Lee. They're on the other side of the A406. But because it's a bit suburban, a couple of them people, they live in houses that their parents own. They think they're posh. But then the girl years later goes and breeds up a window cleaner. See, these people that have their, their ridiculously high standards and that, they're the ones that end up with the lowest standards, with the lowest outcomes. Tell me. You think like like a girl like that talking like that like yeah you get me like you'd think that she'd be with a guy that's you get me because you know what sometimes yeah it's not all about the money you know sometimes you just want to have a job that's respectable yeah some man will think yeah man earning four hundred pound a day uh working as a window cleaner and that yeah that's cool isn't it and don't get too silly in it forget anyone's opinion but sometimes you know what you want to have a job that's respectable and that. Some people ain't going to take you seriously if you're a window cleaner. Yeah? Some people won't take me seriously as an electrician. I've had it before. I've been on a date inside, the Tinder and that. Match with one girl, I think she was Chinese or something. She said, oh, what do you do for work? I'm an electrician. That was the end of the conversation. But this is the type of girl, she's probably on there looking for a doctor, a lawyer, someone with white collar job and that. Not taking man seriously. Obviously, my philosophy, my mentality is, yeah, burn them people with it, yeah, but still, but still, but still. I made a video, I released it, yeah? Women want a man that they can be proud of. So you could have a girlfriend who works in a bank, who is an accountant, who's a lawyer, 
or whatever in any white collar professional job. And she has work colleagues and friends who are white collar professional people. If you are a delivery man, when she's out with her brethren and that, yeah, just a girly thing, yeah, girly chat, yeah, four or five of them around the table and that. They will start talking about their boyfriends and that. Are you single? Are you single? Or whatever. Or they will know each other's status. Or let's say you're in a room full of gal that you don't even, uh, she's in a room full of gal that she doesn't know. They're going to start going around the table. Oh, are you single? No, I've got a boyfriend. Oh, what is he doing? It? You got a boyfriend? Yeah, what is he doing? That? Yeah. And all these girls that have got the same sort of white collar jobs, accountants, lawyers, whatever in it. Yeah. When it comes to the girl who has the boyfriend who's a delivery driver, is can we skip this part i beg this fire alarm in this yard where there's no fire alarm i bet i bet there's a fire start so i can get out of this place literally fam literally you know like them people like you know like when you're in like a, a group meeting or like uh or like activity you know like you do them things they were in a room full of people and you have to basically break the ice and go around and say oh hi i'm jay wise and i wrote a book and that yeah one thing that's interesting about me and that. You know, there are people there who's like nervous and that they're like, oh, please, man, I don't want to get to this part. I don't want to talk. And that. That's how a girl will be thinking. So that's how you, you get me. You want to do things that other people could be proud of. Would your mum really be proud of you if you grew up, grew up, were born in this country, born in England, and the best thing you could have done is become a window cleaner? Seriously, ask yourself this question now. Like, man's born in this country. Would my mum be proud of me for being a window cleaner? Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't care if a man's mom's a window cleaner. Uh, if a man's a window cleaner and his mom says, I'm proud of you. She's lying to him. She's lying to him. Because I certainly would not want my son to be no rascal like window cleaner. A man that does this, you do this all day. What the fuck, fam? I slap my son into next week if he thinks he's gonna grow up in this country. A la the land of opportunity, blood. Are you stupid, blood? The land of opportunity where men are hiding inside a plane, a man are falling out of the sky and landing on people's patio and that. Man are trying to man are going through those things to get to this country. And the best way that you could have done is become a window cleaner. If obviously you have some kind of you, you get me some uh mental disability then yeah fine yeah man's not expecting the same outcomes but you got a healthy brain healthy body yeah you don't need to be einstein yeah you don't even need to be a mathematician and that you got a healthy brain healthy body and the best thing you can become is a window cleaner there's a problem there born in this country if you're from romania or if you're from central africa republic and that where man come from hard times man don't even know what school is and that yeah cool i get it I get it, but not if you're born in this country. Nah, fam, you're on a joke, team. Fam. Yeah, yeah. Or oh, brick lane, brick lane. I made a video the other day talking about brick lane and that, and um, I was saying that you know. Um, the more the more you put into the classroom, the better pay your job will be and the easier your job is, isn't it? So the more you study in the classroom, the easier your job will be and the better pay your job will be. So for example, if you want to be a bricklayer or a delivery driver or a rubbish collection man, they pretty much, well, definitely a delivery driver and a rubbish collection man, they require no studying whatsoever, even a bricklayer. There's no real brain work there in it. There's no real studying in that. Yeah. So yeah, it's easy to get into. It's easy to get that line of work and that. But there's gonna be a strain on your body, let alone the shit pay that you're gonna receive. Yeah. If you're working for a company. And that. Whereas opposed to if you become an electrician, you put four years in the classroom, you become an inspection and testing person. Your job, you're gonna have to study more in the classroom. But then your job is going to be easier. It's going to be less strain on your body. In that video, I'm showing man how I walk around my yard plugging in and I get paid 300 pounds a day for that. Yeah. So as an electrician, I study for four years. I have less strain on my body and I get paid more than a bricklayer and that. Now, 
if you decide to become a doctor and put eight years into the classroom and that, yeah, the studying is hard. The studying is mad, blood. You know what? When them man they come out, them man they want 80 grand and that, whatever, it, yeah? Their job is so easy, blood. And they get better pay. You know what them man they do? I've been to the doctor, fam. And I told him, oh, I've got these symptoms and that. And I see him uh, typing on the laptop and that, or the, the PC, sorry. In my old GP, Charlefront Road, N9. Quincy will know him. Boom. Um, my man's typing on the thing and then I said to him, oh, I heard that a lot of the doctors, they just um, type in someone's uh, symptoms and that or whatever. And that's how they get the information. He said, yeah. And he showed me on, on, on his screen. He flipped the screen around and he showed me. I'm like... Obviously, a man had to study to get in a certain position. I get it, and get yeah, and get paid in that way. It's like a man is just going to Google to find out, you know, putting in symptoms and that, and he's finding out what 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 issues I have and how to treat it and that. But well, this is the power of studying and that. So the more you use your brain, the easier your job is going to be. Yeah, and um, so the more you study, the easier your job is going to be. And the more you're going to get paid. You want to be a lazy fucker and be a delivery driver or a rubbish collection man? Yeah. Easy to, um, um, easy to get into and that. But you're going to get paid less. And you're not going to have a profession that much people are going to be um, proud of. Yeah. There's no girl alive unless she's a fucking an idiot yeah, on benefits. Who's going to be proud to say that my boyfriend is a dustbin man for Haringey Council, working for Viola. There's no way, fam. Most people don't even want to take their own rubbish out, yeah? Let alone having to drive around in a dirty dust car. You ever been, any lot been stuck behind one of them rubbish bins, um, the, the trucks or whatever? stuck on the street on a one-way street and you have to sit behind this rubbish truck and the smell and you're riding around for the best part five six seven eight hours a day in that what are you going man you must be going man all right let's see let's see don't worry uh marcus i i, I ain't forgot your number Hold on. so what if what if he's the manager of a window cleaning business he started when he was um, started at 18. I mean, look, I ain't knocking no one's hustle and that, but why did he start the window cleaning business and that? Why was he not in college and then why did he go, why did he not go to uni? These are the questions, you get me, that man needs the answers to. Why, 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 why did he go down the route of being um, a window cleaner? But obviously, like I said in that video that I was talking about, the, um, uh, you know, like some people, you know, back in the, the recession days and that, and it was it 07 or whatever, when it was a crash and that. There's a lot of white collar people, they lost their jobs and that. And some people, they had to just quickly find something, yeah? Oh, be a cleaner, be a window cleaner, be a carpet cleaner and that. And bam, they actually established a fucking serious business out of that, innit? They got all 10, 10, 12 men with vans driving around. That's cool. You fell into it. That's cool. But not, think to yourself, you know what, yeah? I can't be bothered to go to college and that. I can't be bothered to be an apprentice and that because I pissed about during my 20s. Now I'm 29, 30 years old. You know, I can't be bothered with anything there. I'm too big and too bad to be a man's uh, apprentice, be a man's slave. Now. So you know what? I'm just going to start window cleaning. No, I can't expect that. I can't expect that. It's just like man them off the road. I know man off road. They don't want to sell drugs no more because it's hot. They've been nicked too many times. The cops is watching. It's long. So you know what? I'm going to start Forex trading. They're doing the Forex trading and that because they cannot be bothered to go to college and study. They're lazy, fam. Because if being an electrician was something where you could just snap your fingers and have the skill to do it, they would do that. But they cannot be bothered to sit in the classroom for four years. Because this, this, this is what the man them do as well, yeah? A lot of men did study electrical or plumbing or something like that. Or even like maybe even sports science. But a lot of men, they can't focus on one thing. I know, man, been in college for three, four years, every year they start a new course. I'm doing um, sports science. 
then I'm doing electrical, then I'm doing bricklaying. Man can't finish nothing. So what they do is, when they're 17, 18 and that, they think to themselves, yeah, I know, I know the thing in it, yeah? It, like, oh, I'll find my thing in it, yeah? It, life will work itself out before you blink, before you snap your fingers, fam. You're 29, 30 years old. In that time, you've been pissing about, trying to jump on this money-making scheme here, this money-making scheme there, but it don't work out, yeah? And then you're 30 years old. It's like, blood, I ain't got no skill, fam. I may as well, you may as well have been in jail, blood. Furthermore, there's man in jail that got more qualifications than you that they got in jail. 